Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a haul and I have not done a haul in about, it's been about a month, two months, maybe three months. I can't remember the last time I've done a haul on my channel. So yeah, I have Sephora, Ulta, as well as Target. Cannot wait to show you guys the products that I picked up. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything that I got in this haul, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so um, skincare products. You guys know I have been really, really strict on the products that I use on my skin. And lately, um, I've been using Curology for the past three months. But those are not the only products that I use or that I incorporate in my skincare routine, which by the way, I am going to do a skincare routine on my channel really, really soon because a lot of you have been asking me for that. But um, I also include face masks in my skincare routine. I love sheet masks, detox masks. Um, and speaking of that, I do have one by Timmy. Now they did send this over to me to try out. So this part of the video is sponsored by Timmy. Um, but this is their detox mask. It is the green tea blend. And I like to use this mask around my chin, my T-zone, as well as my forehead right in this area. Also, I'll use it um, around this part of my face. This is where I usually have um, the most breakouts and dark spots. Now, I don't really have breakouts on my skin anymore because of the products I've been using for my skin the past couple of months. But um, I like to use this mask, not all over my face. I just like to use it in the areas where I usually have, um, you know, blemishes, breakouts, all of that stuff on the skin. So this one is really good. Um, for those of you, well, it's actually good for all skin types, but if you struggle with um, a lot of blemishes on the skin, if you have breakouts, um, this is good to use to just kind of clear out those breakouts, kind of dry them up. So that way they can um, clear out on the skin and the blemishes can go away faster. Also, I noticed when I put it on my um, nose area, this is where I usually get the most whiteheads and, you know, all those nasty blackheads and the nasty gunk. I noticed that once I put it on the nose and I let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, it just kind of pulls out all of that nasty gunk. Like it's a detox mask. So that is, you know, it's going to detox your skin. It's just going to clear out all of the nastiness. It's just going to help with all of the congestion and just clearing out the skin. So this is good to use for that. I don't use this every day. I usually um, put the mask on at least two to three times a week. I found that you know, using a mask every single day, it kind of irritates my skin. So if you are going to use a detox mask, I would definitely suggest using it at least two to three times a week, maybe four times, but not every single day because it can, I mean, it can irritate the skin. I can't really speak for everybody, but I noticed when I've done it in the past where I'll use a detox mask every single day, it irritates my skin. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a good detox mask that's going to help with those blemishes, help with those breakouts, then definitely give this a try. I do have a coupon code right here on the screen if you guys want to check it out, as well as down below in the description. But yeah, that is that mask by Timmy that I wanted to share with you guys. Now going into the products that I picked up from Sephora. So I picked up two repurchases. So one is the Tata Harper Clarifying Cleanser. Honestly and truly, I have lost count with how many times I've purchased this cleanser. I think I'm up to the fifth purchase either the fourth or the fifth this is actually a cleanser that works for my skin it is a little pricey but it works and that is why I keep purchasing it over and over and over um, so I want to say this has um, this is one of the products that has also been helping my skin just clearing it up and just making it look more clear and brightened and just more youthful. So this again is a clarifying cleanser. This is for blemished prone skin. So if you break out easily or if you are struggling with a lot of breakouts on the skin or even dark spots, this helps. And how I use this cleanser is I'll clean, you know, lather up the face first and then I'll just keep it on the skin. Like I don't rinse it off immediately. I'll just make um, or just keep it on the skin for at least two to three minutes and then I'll rinse it off and it does give you that nice cooling sensation on the skin which I love and I love how this freaking smells. It smells really minty and fresh 
So yes, this has been doing my skin wonders as well, um, as well as the other products that I've been using in my skincare routine. And I also grabbed another Hourglass Caution Mascara. I love this mascara. I don't know why I just won't buy the full size. I always buy the smaller one because if you buy two of the smaller ones, it equals, well, it's still like a dollar less than buying the full size and you actually get more product if you buy two of the smaller ones. I know that may sound confusing, but it's the truth, girl. But this is what the mascara looks like. So. It's in a nice triangle little packaging, which is really cute. So I grabbed another one of those because I can't get enough. Then I picked up the Ole Henry Skin. I always get tongue tied when I try to say that. But this is the Dark Spot Toner, which I feel like every time I put this in my cart, it would sell out. I don't know what it is about this toner. I don't even know if it's like if it's good or if it works, but it seems to sell out all the freaking time all the time so i'm gonna give this a try my skin has cleared up a lot you guys have seen that in my videos where i don't have the makeup on but i still want to give this a try because i still have a few dark spots on this side of the face that i'm trying to get rid of they have lightened up a little bit more but i still want to give this a try to see if this helps with you know lightening them up even more so let me know if you guys have tried this out. Let me know if it works for you. Um, just let me know. So I finally bit the bullet and grabbed the NARS Skin Deep Eyeshadow Palette. I have been picking this up, putting it back on the shelf, picking it up, putting it back on the shelf, picking it up, and putting it back on the shelf. I think I have done that a total of three or four times every time I have gone in Sephora, but I finally grabbed it. And this is a really pretty, brown everyday eyeshadow palette. I know I don't need this. I know I already have some shades like this in my collection and I know, but I just I just been wanting to try it out. It just looks so pretty. It looks like it'll be such a beautiful natural looking everyday palette and I also kind of want to use this darker shade in here to see if it'll be nice as a bronzer. I don't know. I just want to try it out. Um I just I just got it because I just wanted it. And then I bit another bullet and got a YSL lipstick, girl. YSL. But I wanted it. It was super cute and the packaging I could not pass up. This has little pink hearts on it. It is adorable. Adorable. Look at that. The shade is, what is this? 44 Nude. So this is like a pink color it looks darker in the packaging but once you apply it it looks a little lighter so I'll swatch it right here so y'all can see and it smells fruity it smells really good like really fruity but the color is so cute I can actually wear this without having to pair a lip liner with it so this will be a good everyday pinky color it's so pretty so cute and it smells so good like what what is it sm smells like peaches like peaches maybe a little bit of strawberry I don't know it smells really sweet and fruity but I cannot pass this up so this is my first YSL lipstick I've never purchased a YSL lipstick I think I've gotten a free one like for like a um a point perk but it was like one of those itty bitty tiny mini ones and it was red but this will be a good everyday lip color you guys i will use this i'm not gonna have this just sitting and being cute so i am gonna definitely use this so don't worry so i've been seeing these facial massagers around everywhere and i just went ahead and got one for myself this one is the sephora um from the sephora collection so it's not as expensive as i guess the other ones are like the real ones i don't know but this one um was pretty affordable so i went ahead and got it this is the pink and rose gold so let me you know what i'll open it later on but this is i'm pretty sure a lot of you already seen you know seen these around and seen videos about them but i wanted to try it out and see how you know see what the hype is about these i don't know like i guess you're supposed to just roll them on your face and then it just tones up the face or something i don't know but i wanted to try it out it was affordable and it was cute so i got it and i also got the smashbox 
Studio Skin Finish, well, Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. I have the shade Medium Dark Warm. So, you know what? This, I'm gonna throw this in my everyday makeup sash for this month, even though I've already um, put makeup in my drawer. I'm actually gonna try this out for this month and see, you know, see how I like it. And I will definitely let you guys know on my thoughts in another video. So yes, let me swatch it so y'all can see it. I love, love, love the doe foot applicator. It's really, really big. Ooh, that's super creamy. So there's that shade right there. I feel like this will be like the perfect under eye concealer. Like the color is perfect. Um, but yeah, medium dark warm. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this in my vanity and use it this month. So the last thing I grabbed from Sephora is the Pat McGrath Mascara. Let's go ahead and open this cause I wanna see it. And I don't even have scissors near me. Where are my scissors? Do I, yes, there they are. I just wanna see what this looks like. Pat McGrath always has like you know, different packaging. It's really unique. And I've noticed some other, you know, brands trying to hop on this, you know, bag packaging with confetti on the inside. I noticed Victoria's Secret has some products in there like that. But yeah, this is what comes in the little blue bag, the mascara. And I wanna see what the wand looks like. Ooh, this is a nice big wand. Can y'all see? Can you see that? Yes. Ooh, I'm going to put you inside my makeup drawer for this month too. Yeah. We're going to be using this this month as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put you in my drawer. All right, moving on to Target. So I grabbed one repurchase from Target and that is the Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite cleansing oils from the drugstore. It literally melts your makeup off within seconds and it does not burn your eyes it does not leave that greasy residue on your skin so i just pump a little bit of this out on my hand um before i clean my skin and i'll just go all over the face just so that everything can melt and then just come off super duper easily and just like the tata harper um facial cleanser i honestly cannot remember how many times i have repurchased this but it's been a lot. So I wanted to grab another one because it is one of my favorites. And I also grabbed um, two Sonia Kashuk sponges. One was on clearance. So this is, um, well, it comes in two. And I've never tried this kind out. I always try the one that you guys see in my, my makeup tutorials. But I wanted to branch out and try out more sponges from Sonia Kashuk. So yeah, these were on clearance. It was original $10. I got these for $7 but this is what they look like up close so you guys can see. It still has that marble look, so these are white and gray. And I also grabbed another one. I thought this one was on clearance, but this is what this one looks like. It's a little bit smaller. It does have that flat side to it, so this will be easy to apply setting powder or just to blend out my concealer but yeah I got that one and I also got another thing from Sonia Kashuk which is a shadow switching cleanser so if you're doing your eyeshadow and you want to continue to use the same brush um, all you have to do is just swish it in this I know they have these at Sephora which I have purchased one from Sephora I just lost it but I needed another one and this one was really cheap so um, yeah, you just use this to kind of clean off your brush um, while you're doing your makeup. So if you don't want to keep switching brushes while you're doing your eyeshadow, you can just use this and it just gets most of the eyeshadow off the brush. So I wanted to get another one of those. And that was actually all the products that I picked up from Target. Now let's go into Ulta. I grabbed a couple of eyeshadow palettes, which I know I don't need, but you know, you know how that goes. You see something you like, you get it. So yeah, so the first palette I picked up was by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their Mad for Matte Jewel Pop eyeshadow palette. I think this is one of their newer ones. And girl, look how stinking cute. Look how pretty these shades are. It's like you have those pops of color, but you also have colors in here that are, you know, 
everyday colors. So you have this nice nude looking color that looks like it'll be good for a transition color. You have the burgundies, which you guys know I love, 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 love purples and berry colors. You have a green, you have a black in here, you guys. You have a freaking black. And you guys know I am all about palettes with black shadows. Let me open it so y'all can see it closer. Take off that sticker. And they have changed the packaging of their shadows because you can now see the actual shadows on the front. At first, you couldn't see it because it was, you know, closed off. You couldn't really see it. But this, y'all, this, ooh, this is so freaking pretty. Ooh, I just want to swatch a couple of shades. I'm going to swatch the green. I'm going to swatch this purple pinky looking color. Ooh, that's not a good swatch. Okay. But you know, swatches are not as important as actual application with a brush. But let me swatch. I want to swatch this periwinkle looking blue. Ooh, and this orange. Ooh, that orange. Yes. Okay. Orange. Ooh, girl. Yes. And then the green. Purple. That purple didn't really swatch good. And then the blue. These are really pretty, like, bright colors. They're so pretty. And all of the shades in this palette, all the shades are matte. So y'all know I am all about matte shadows. And then, of course, the black in here, which I'm not going to swatch because I ran out of room on my fingers. But yeah, that, again, is the um, Jewel Pop eyeshadow palette. Speaking of colorful shadows, I grabbed another palette with some color in it. This is the NYX off tropic eyeshadow palette and this has a lot of fun colorful bright shades i'm going to be dipping into more color for the spring and summertime so i wanted to kind of expand my palette collection as far as colorful palettes because y'all know i have a ton of everyday palettes just those everyday nice warm neutral palettes so i wanted to you know expand my palette selection so this is really cute i'm gonna take this plastic off so y'all can see the shades better but i am really 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 excited for the spring and summer as far as like makeup but not the weather because i don't like hot weather but this is going to be such a pretty fun palette to play in so pretty i want to swatch some of these colors too look at this purple this purple is look ooh this is looking like that purple that's gonna be in the um, Anastasia palette the new one I don't know if this video is gonna go up by the time that one drops but I am gonna be getting that palette um, and then this blue ooh girl this freaking blue oh my gosh and then let me swatch let me swatch this gold in here I think this is the, actually the only shimmery color in the palette but they are so pretty Ooh, there's a gold then the blue and then the purple Ooh, so cute so there are those swatched and i also grabbed three eye brushes from morphe so i have the m518 crease fluff brush these are my first ones ever like I've never tried these out so yeah that's that one and then I also have the M433 Pro Firm Blending Fluff Brush and then this last one I have is the M535 it doesn't say what type of brush this is but it is a blending brush it's like for the you know the crease and stuff so yeah I'm gonna try these out never tried any of the Morphe eye brushes I do have a couple of their face brushes but when it comes to eyes Never try these out. So let me know your thoughts on the brushes. Um, let me know which ones are your favorites because I would love to kind of expand my brush collection with more, you know, more blending brushes because I have, you know, some that I've been loving, but I kind of want to test out some more. So let me know what your favorite like eye brushes are from Morphe. So that's that. And I also grabbed one more palette. <laughs> And I can explain, like I can really explain the reason why I got this. And that's because, you know, when you're standing in line waiting to check out, there's this like stand right there full of 
products like mini size products and I saw this cute Morphe palette it was so freaking cute they had one like I guess it was like a little sample they had it open and I think it was only six dollars it was really really cheap and I just wanted to get it like I just wanted to get it so I got it and this is the B well 3B pure nude palette let me show it to you this um, just has matte colors but these are like colors that I reach for on a daily on a daily so I wanted to grab these I wanted to you know try them out and see if they're any good and also just have them as a palette that I can just reach for when I go for like when I want to go for a nice soft matte everyday look instead of just having to um, reach for a bigger palette in my collection just to find these types of shades in the palette so I have this that I can just sit in my vanity and just have it in there all the time so this um, has a really pretty dark chocolate shade a really pretty peachy nude and then this one right here is a really pretty taupey nude so I'll show you guys up close but this is so cute so cute perfect 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 for you know every day even though I have enough freaking palettes in my collection that has everyday shades this is just one that I can throw in my purse throw in you know something if I'm you know traveling or something and I don't want to br uh, bring a big palette and I know I'm just going to use a couple of shadows for like a soft everyday look this is that palette that I can just throw in my freaking purse so yes but yes you guys that is all that i have for this haul if i shared anything that you guys have already tried out anything that you're wanting to try out let me know let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments and also i am doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole entire year so i will be giving away one box to one person every single month i'm gonna go ahead and leave a clip of this month's box so you guys can see all of the goodies that i have for you and it's super easy to enter all you have to do is just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel make sure you thumbs up the videos as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section and with the comments i don't want them to be about the giveaway so let's comment something about the video that you watched or something that you have been loving as far as what products you've been loving what products you guys want me to try out anything about makeup just nothing about the giveaway so let's go ahead and leave those comments down below but yeah I think that is all that I have for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye